story has some pictures that may be disturbing. This morning, Russia continues to question who was behind Friday's deadly attack at a concert hall in Moscow, despite ISIS claiming responsibility. At least 137 people have been killed and more than 180 people injured. ABC's Perry Russom also filed this report. This morning, Russia continues to question who was behind the deadly concert hall attack in Moscow. Four men have been charged, all from Tajikistan. Their faces bruised and swollen in court. This man apparently unconscious. As ISIS claims responsibility for the attack on Friday, Russian President Vladimir Putin claims without evidence the men were headed to Ukraine, where people there were preparing to let them cross the border. President Vice President Kamala Harris with ABC's Rachel Scott. Does the U.S. have any evidence to back that up? No, there is no whatsoever any evidence. And in fact, what we know to be the case is that ISIS-K is actually, um, by all accounts, responsible for what happened. Ukraine has repeatedly denied playing any role. On Saturday, a U.S. State Department official said the U.S. did share information with Russia about a possible attack. The Russian ambassador to the United States denying that happened, saying no concrete information, nothing was transferred to us. Yesterday, a national day of mourning in Russia. Hundreds of people gathering outside the concert hall. As inside, first responders cleared debris. During the attack, the building was set on fire. This comes as a 15-year-old boy is being called a hero. In video released by Russian state TV, it shows Islam Khalilov saving dozens of people, leading them away from the gunfire. Perry Russom, ABC News, Washington. All four men are facing terrorism charges. They've been ordered to remain in pretrial detention for at least two months.